Hey all, Al here. So seeing that everybody in his dog has downloaded the 380 into the sim, quickly going to go through a guide on how to connect it to your Bravo throttle quadrant. So you can use the A380 with this. Moment, if we jump in here, I show you my throttle quadrant using the first lever on this, the speed brake boilers the sixth lever controls the flaps four in the middle control the throttles and the reverse throttles as well if we completely push them down to do that connect it simple enough control options in here find your Bravo throttle quadrant. I'd say advise to create a new profile for A380. If you're a person that has been using Airbuses already, you may have already created a profile in there for an Airbus and that'll work with the A380. If not, it'll help you connect your throttles, speed brake, and flaps. So under this, go to power management. I'd advise if you have copied another profile to clear everything out. I'll show you how to connect all four throttles and first throttles as well. All you need to do is type in, let's start to type in throttle. I'm going to do throttle one, which is the second lever on Bravo. Scroll down, find throttle one axis, not throttle one axis zero to 100, throttle one axis. That's the same for the other three throttles as well. Select that, scan, use your lever on the throttle quadrant, validate that. This is where you need to tick first axis, untick that. You do this for all four ax four throttles. Do the reverse throttle, look for throttle one or throttle two or throttle three or throttle four. Decrease that. Make sure that your lever is on the idle. Move it on, you'll feel the idle one. That's before it's all the way down. Then Push it fully down. Actually, start the scan first of all. Sorry, the idle. Push it fully down. That'll give you joystick button 25, which goes to throttle 1. Joystick button 26 goes to throttle 2. 7 goes to throttle 3. 28 goes to throttle 4. Bring it back up again to idle. Validate. That will now show you that you have your throttle working. And your reverse throttle as well. Which will be the button. Click apply on that. Back. Zoom. Check now we'll have all throttles working. When we push them down fully. It's reverse throttle. You can't see it on the same does work now to get your speed brake and your flaps pretty simple as well back into control options speed brake and flaps are under control surfaces the control surfaces spoilers which is your speed brakes and your flaps find them here if set Spoiler, find the spoiler axis, click it, search. I'm using the first lever on the throttle quadrant spoiler. Once you that, it'll show up here. Validate, that's your spoiler speed brake activated. Reverse axis ticked on it. Flaps, pretty much the same. I've been 
Laps. <laughs> so, spell flaps it might be good. Flap axis, select that. And that'll be the sixth lever, which is joystick L axis Z. Validate that. First axis, apply that. That's now your speed brake and your flap set. Another good option is to also set the auto throttle disconnection. Do that. Put in auto T. Bring up autopilot, auto throttle disconnect. I have set that to a button on lever one, which is on the very first one. There's a little red button on that, so I select that. It'll do joystick button 29. Also set it, validate that. Second one to an actual red button on lever one. See that. That again is button 29 as well. Validate that. So that is our auto throttle disconnect. That button on throttle one, or we can use it on the speed brakes. That should be now all of your controls set up. Back, have our speed brake one. We have our throttles on the four middle levers and our first throttle when we push it down. Can't see it on here, but it works. Also, have our flaps on lever six. And we have our auto throttle disconnect as well on the button on lever one and on the red button on lever throttle one, which is throttle, which is lever two. So hopefully that's helped a few of you out there it's as quick as I can get it together. And this will get you up and flying in the A380. Any questions or comments, just comments below and I'll get back to you. And we will chat to you later. Thanks.